Even those of us who aren't in chemistry are familiar with chlorine. Just the name reminds us of the last time we visited a swimming pool and our noses were hit with its distinctive smell. Chlorine is a halogen and a gas at room temperature. I have a sample of chlorine gas here. Against a white background, you can see that the gas is visible, with a yellow-green color. The chemist Sir Humphrey Davy noted this color and named the gas after the Greek chloros, meaning green. The plant pigment chlorophyll is also named after its color, though it does not contain any chlorine. Now, if you increase the ambient pressure to 7.4 atmospheres, chlorine can be made to be a liquid at room temperature. And here's something I just got in the mail. Inside this acrylic cylinder is a small quartz ampule, which holds about 100 milligrams of liquid chlorine. Keep in mind that liquid chlorine is really dangerous to handle. I can handle it safely here because it is a small amount encased in both a strong quartz ampule and an acrylic cylinder. It will remain liquid even above room temperature as any chlorine that evaporates will increase pressure and keep the rest liquid. In fact, it will remain liquid all the way to 144 degrees Celsius, the critical temperature, above which it ceases to behave like a liquid regardless of pressure. Now, I'm not going to try and demonstrate this because I don't know if the ampule and cylinder have been tested for those extreme temperatures and pressures. And while it's quite sturdy at room temperature, I don't know if it could break under increased pressure and temperature.